Yo, 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 what's up? What's going on? It's me, Josh, here again. Hope you had a fantastic week. My week was great. Thank you so much for asking. Hope this video sparks some discussion and makes you think about what may have been the biggest turning point in your life. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So for me, the biggest turning point in my life was when I graduated college. When I graduated college in 2015 and I had to find my identity. Now for this to make sense, let's back up a little bit. So for basically my whole life, I, I played soccer since I was like nine years old. I was obsessed. That's all I thought about. I wanted to be pro. I was I was set on being a pro soccer player since I was like nine years old. And it got to the point, like when I got to middle school and high school, like that became my identity. Everyone was like, oh, Josh is the soccer dude. He's a jock. He's really good at soccer. And at the same time during school, you know, I was also a really funny guy. You know, I, I had a number of classes where my only purpose is just to make jokes the whole time from the back of the class. So I get through high school, and high school is also kind of weird because I didn't really feel like I fit in with anybody. Because I was good at soccer, which made me pretty popular and pretty well known, but I was never really close to any of these people that knew me. I probably only had like three, four maybe, three or four really like close friends. But it was weird because it was like, for me, they were my closest friends. But for them, you know, they had so many other friends that they could go hang out with after school. So it was weird. So I kind of felt like soccer is what kept me relevant. Even my sense of humor to a degree was what kept, helped keep me relevant. So anyway, you know, high school is passing and I ended up getting recruited to play division one soccer. So I'm in like the Seattle, Washington area at the time. And I got recruited to play all the way in the Midwest. I was like, dang, it's a new adventure. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. I was especially happy because in my mind, I'm like, okay, I'm to be pro soccer player that that's my goal and this is where you got to go you got to be a division one soccer player first so i get to college and long story short my career was nowhere near what i hoped it would be my freshman year i redshirted because during preseason i messed up my hamstring which you know it took me out for the whole year and then i come back and then i played like half of my sophomore season i messed up my knee had to get knee surgery then it took like a, another year after that to get a stronger leg, a stronger knee again. And here's the thing, this is why I sympathize with like Derrick Rose or some of these other high profile athletes, is that when you have an injury, especially in a place like your legs, like your knees or your ankles or whatever, it's really hard, especially if you're an explosive player. I was a very explosive player. I like to do, you know, like quick turns and cuts. I, I really hit my joints pretty heavy. It's hard to build up that trust on your joints again. It's hard to really test out that spot that was injured in the first place. But honestly, I never really fully trusted my knee again, which kind of messed up the whole rest of my career. At the same time though, during college, just like, you know, in high school, middle school, people are saying, Josh, you are really funny, man. People are like, Josh, have you ever tried to explore something comedy related? I was like, no, I want to be a pro soccer player. I was still holding on to that dream for whatever reason. I was still holding on to it. In my junior, I think it was my junior year, uh, there's a comedian named Godfrey. If you haven't heard of him, go look him up. He's hilarious. He came to our school to perform because one of my friends on the soccer team, who's also a Nigerian guy like me, he was part of a fraternity and they had an annual comedy show and they always booked like, you know, big name, like legitimate people. So Godfrey came and he destroyed. He was so funny. He crushed. Everyone was dying of laughter. And the thing is like, I connected with his material very deeply because he's just like me. He was born to Nigerian parents in the US. First generation dude who also played sports. And because of that, because of those similarities, after the show, everyone was really on my back. They're like, Josh, you have to at least try stand-up comedy, man. Come on. I'm like, no, never. But if I'm being honest, I was actually considering it. I was thinking about it. I was like, man, you know, maybe I'll give it a try. Now fast forward to when I'm graduating college, right? And I'm feeling really weird because I'm graduating college and I'm realizing that soccer is just not gonna happen. I was like, you know what, it's, it's not gonna happen. I'm just gonna, you know, graduate, get a job and just live. And I remember I graduated and I got a job and I was working and I felt lost. I felt weird because when you're really passionate about something for like your entire life and to feel like it's taken from you, that's like, you gotta like re rediscover who you are in a sense. It's like, sure, I could have, you know, dropped everything and just tried to figure out a way to make it in soccer. But I think at that point, I was just kind of over it. I think, you know, I didn't really have it anymore. It was kind of like, whatever. So I felt weird. I felt like, you know, I didn't know what I was doing. This is the turning point in my life. Because at this point in my life, I felt very lost. And I was like, what 
am I? <laughs> what am I gonna do now? I needed to make new friends in the city, so I actually joined an improv comedy class and I met a lot of people there. I met a lot of cool friends, and there's a small group of friends that I made. They were, they were into stand up comedy, so I went with them to some open mics and, you know, started doing comedy from there. And at this point, you know, doing improv comedy and stand up comedy, I felt like, oh snap, like I'm tapping into that funny side of me. And it felt more natural than when I was playing soccer. I was like, hmm. You know, from this point forward, you know, the rest is history, you know, comedy. I started doing all kinds of comedy and everything. But yeah, that was the biggest turning point in my life. I hope some of that made sense. I'm just kind of talking and, you know, expressing myself to you. So anyway, you know, this concludes this video. I hope that you learned a little bit more about me. I really like uh, doing videos like this instead of just doing straight advice stuff all the time because I feel like you should know who I am. I'm a person with feelings. If you enjoyed this video, give this video a like. And I wanna know, you know, leave your comments down below. Let me know if you have one, what is a big turning point in your life? I really like to know about you as well. You know, this is a family, we're all a family. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I release videos every week. Anyway, I don't wanna to ramble too much, okay? I hope you have a fantastic week, okay? You deserve it. Have a fantastic week, be happy, enjoy life, okay? Life is great and there's, there's so many cool things you could do with your life. I'm rambling, but you get what I'm trying to say. But anyway, that's it for me, all right? I'll talk to y'all soon. Peace. Uh -huh.